We've described previously on Market Journal the potential benefits of cover crops. In this episode and in next week's Market Journal, we'll talk about transitioning to the next growing season for corn and soybeans. Next week, we'll discuss planting into a green cover crop. This week, Nebraska Extension Cropping System Specialist Rodrigo Worley will explain how to get good termination through herbicide options. We sat down with Rodrigo at Nebraska Extension's 2017 Cover Crop Conference near Mead and started by asking about his recent survey to determine first how the practice is being used in the state. So last year during the soybean management few days and the crops and watering crops few days on North Platte, I passed a survey around. I got about 290 people or participants that responded to the surveys. And one of the questions that I had to them is, uh, how many of you guys are incorporating cover crops as part of your cropping systems? And the answer there was about 30%. 33% of our producers are incorporating cover crops to some extent in their rotation strategies. For what purposes? Well, I asked them, you know, what are the major reasons why? Uh, Erosion control was the top one, increased soil health, increased organic matter. Weed management actually came up a few times there. So, you know, grow, some growers are seeing the value of a well-established cover crop uh, as a tool to help them, you know, with weed management. Speaks to how you properly manage a cover crop so that you can still maintain yield of the corn, soybeans, whatever you're putting next. So that's a really good uh, point here, Jeff. So you get the, if you get the focus of, you know, what we're talking here about is uh, cereal rye, okay? So if you get a good and nice cereal rye established in the fall, you get really good winter annual weed suppression, okay? Uh, including mare's tail. So that helps on the, on, on the weed management aspect of things. If you have some good amount of residue, that's also gonna help you suppress some of the summer annual weeds, okay? So uh, cover crops can become a valuable tool for weed suppression uh, by themselves. Uh, they're not going to work and it gets to a point in the spring where you're getting ready to plant your summer crop and that's the time you're going to decide when am I going to terminate this cover crop. Okay, and this is what we visited about here today during the cover crop conference. Herbicides are going to be very effective for termination of cover crops before they flower. So before the flowering, you're usually using glyphosate if you want to add something else tends to be effective. After they flower, those herbicides are no longer as effective, okay? Uh, another option there, if you want to let the cover crop grow a little more, it would be a roller crimper. Not many producers adopt it. Uh, however, research has shown that a roller crimper actually becomes very effective at controlling cover crops after they flower. So if you missed the boat there for a herbicide, you're concerned that the herbicides may not work as well, your roller crimper might be something that works uh, for you. And again, you gotta understand what is the objective of that cover crop? How much you wanna let it grow? Because water can be a concern, you know, nutrient management can be a concern. Those are the things you gotta ask yourself, you know, what is the reason why I'm incorporating this cover crop? And that's gonna help you decide when it's gonna be the best time to terminate it. Now, how do you develop a program that makes sure you aren't encouraging resistance. So that's a really good point. As I said, you know, glyphosate is gonna be the primary herbicide option for killing the cover crop. It works extremely well. Uh, you gotta scout your fields. If you have, you know, a heavy mare's tail pressure, the cover crop is gonna choke some of it down. However, it might not, you know, eliminate it all. So you gotta go out there, see whether you still have some of that or not. If you do, then you wanna diversify your program. You may wanna add a 2,4-D, you know, or a Sharpen or a Val or a different product that's gonna help you a little bit the mare's tail control. And at the time you're planting, it's extremely important to combine good cover crop residue with soil residual products. So that's gonna help you with season long control. So you have herbicide strategy, you have your cover crop, biomass in there, you combine that, and hopefully that's gonna help you enhance your weed management program. Tell me what happens if you don't get a good uh, burn down or whatever you would call it, a yeah. kill off termination of the cover crop. That's a really good point. If you cannot control that cover crop, you're gonna be planting, that crop is gonna be coming through. This is something we visited today. The crops have the ability to sense neighboring plants. So if this crop is coming through, the cover crop is still green and running, that cover, even though they might not be competing for water and nutrient, that, that crop, your crop is gonna be sensing it and that automatically reduces your yield potential. So it is important that you start with a clean season, regardless if it's weed or cover crop, it's important that you have it terminated by the time your crop is getting up and running.